No, I, I haven't. No, I've not. I've not looked much at TSI because the thing. Well, the reason being is that I got to a point where I thought, yeah, that's it. That's the, it, it. It showed me how the mechanics of capitalism work, and it added to what other people say, and it showed me, I suppose, what I was looking for when I first went into it. If that makes sense. I mean, I wanted to know how capitalism worked a little bit better, and I wanted to know how Marx's economics worked. I mean, loads of people know what Marx thought about politics. Loads of people know what he thought about sociology. And also, uh, a few people, less, but a few people know what he thought about philosophy. But most people are very weak on Marx's economics partly because they've just never never really studied it. And most stuff that you can read on Marx talks about his philosophy or his politics or his sociology. It's, it's, it's very few people that do the study on the Marxist economics. And I, I can understand why, because it's a bit, it's like learning a new language. You know, why do I need to learn Spanish when I, I live in France? Well, actually, that's not, that's not a good example. You know, why do I need to learn Chinese when I live in Spain? You know, it might be a better example. Um, th th there isn't really, people don't take the time to do it. But if they did take the time to do it, they'd see that it's, it's, it's reasonably straightforward. You know, so any language is straightforward when you know it. And then it, it, and then it kind of gives you a different lens or a different perspective on things. Uh, and what I found with the TSSI is that after learning about it, I thought, well, that just makes sense to me. I wasn't happy with simultaneous modeling. I, I recognize that supply side things are really crucial to understanding the instigating factors of capitalism. It's entrepreneurs that decide to invest, and, 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 and that's what the system's about. Private ownership of assets, free markets, and competition. So they are the instigators of the production process. They then need to make a profit. If they don't make a profit, it's game over. And then that competitive process over time leads to globalization, as Marx predicted. It leads to the centralization and concentration of capital, as Marx predicted. So you start to see a story from Marx which reflects exactly what has happened. And, you know, I can't think of anyone that has described capitalism better. I don't think they have. Keynes was very specific about a particular kind of period of time. But it doesn't work across, it hasn't got that depth and the extent of Marx's understanding of capitalism.